Have you ever sold a cash secure put option or a naked put option and the position went against you? I know I have. Would you like to see my four favorite ways of repairing a position like that? Before we get into the four strategies I use to repair a cash secure put option that's going against me, I want you to know that as this video progresses, as we go through these four strategies, the trades I'm going to share with you have gone more and more against us. So basically, I'm saving the worst position for last because it's the most drastic measures we took to repair a position that had gone against us. At the very end, I'm going to share with you a position in which the underlying stock has been down over 45% over the past several years, but using the techniques I'm going to share with you in this video, it's actually a profitable position for us. Here you see the underlying stock of the first position I'm going to talk through, and that's XLU. It's a utilities ETF. As you see here in the trade alert I sent out to my patrons, on July 27th, we sold the August 18th $67 cash secure put option. For that trade, we were paid 79 cents per share. As you see here on the charts, in the bottom left is the daily chart, and the bottom right is the weekly chart. XLU had recently broke out above previous resistance and above several moving averages that should have served as resistance for it. However, once it broke through those areas, those areas should then turn into support. That's what we anticipated. Well, things don't always go as planned. And as you can see, since that time, XLU has dropped right at 10% over the past several months. To help prepare this position and get us back into a profitable position over the past couple of months, we've been rolling our strike prices down. This is the simplest technique you can use. And if the stock hasn't dropped a lot, this is a very easy technique to do. You can still walk away with a credit. Notice here that several weeks ago, we bought to close the August 18th $64 cash care put option and simultaneously sold the September 15th $63 put option. We actually walked with a credit of 10 cents per share. And then again, just five days ago, on September 1st, you see that we bought back those September 15th $64 cash care put options and rolled them out and down to the October 20th $63 cash care put options and put another three cents per share into our pocket. So this technique is simple. It's one that a lot of people probably think about. When a position has gone against you, simply roll the cash care put option out and as you roll it out, look to roll it down. This is a great technique to use when a position has moved against you, but it hasn't moved against you in a big way. Now remember, I told you that as this video progresses, the positions I'm going to share with you have moved more and more against us in a bigger and bigger way. Now the positions that move against us are a very small percentage of our portfolio. Generally we have around 40 to 45 positions on at any one point in time. But I'm only focusing in this video on ones that have moved against us. This will help you learn some techniques you can use to repair cash secured or naked put option positions that have gone against you. So now let's step the heat up just a little bit. Let's make this a little bit more difficult. Here you see a trade we did in GDX back on July 31st. We sold to open the September 15th $30 put options and we bought for protection the same expiration day, $25 put options. For this trade, we put 59 cents per share into our pocket. Here you see the charts of GDX. On the bottom left is the daily and the bottom right is the weekly. Notice at this upward sloping trend line, the GDX had been in a nice upward trend over the past several months. On the day we entered this trade, July 31st, we found that GDX was at the bottom part of this upward sloping trading channel. So all looked good. The technical indicators said that we had a high probability trade. However, things don't always work out as planned. As you can see here on the left daily chart, since the time we began trading in GDX, it's declined over 9%. Now that's quite the decline for ETF like GDX in just a little over a month. So what can we do to repair this position that's gone against us a pretty good bit in a short period of time? Here you see the trade I did yesterday on September 5th. Notice that we bought to close the September 15th $30 put options. We then simultaneously sold to open the GDX January 19th $28 put options. So notice that we rolled our strike price down by right at 6.7%. But in order to do that for a credit, we had to go out to January. So we had to go out right at four and a half months to do this for a credit. But we did get a credit, as you see here, of 11 cents per share. Sometimes when a position has really moved against you in a pretty big way really fast, you may have to go farther out in time than just one or two months. In this case, we had to go out four months to get it rolled out and down and still walk away with a credit. Now let's make this even more difficult. Here you see the charts of PEG. On August, we sold the September 15th $60 put options. We then bought the $50 put option for protection. In all, we were able to walk away with a net credit of $1.15 per share. Again, at this point, the charts looked good. PEG was also trading in an upward sloping trading channel and was at the bottom of that channel. Volume didn't suggest that sellers were overly strong, so we decided to enter this new cash secure put option position or bullish put credit spread as you see in our trade. And for a couple weeks, this trade cooperated. PEG traded sideways to up, but then a week ago, PEG began to decline and over the past week, 
it's declined over 5.5%. The challenge of PEG is that it's typically not a very volatile stock, so the option premiums aren't that high. The other challenge is that the strike prices are in $5 increments. So that makes it more difficult to roll these strike prices down when they go against you. So how can we repair this position that's gone against us and we're having difficulty rolling a strike price down for a credit? Well, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I typically take on at most half position sizes. You see, I wanna have at most 5% at risk in any one position. But to leave room for situations like this where position goes against us, I typically only take on a half position size of that 5% or at most around a 25 to 3% position size. That leaves me 2 to 2.5% in each position that will allow me to repair a position when it goes against me. But actually with PEG, we weren't even at a 2.5% position size. You see, I build my position slowly. When I see a new opportunity, I normally do one contract. I give it a day to see what happens. If it's still looking good, I'll do another contract. I'll continue that process until we reach that half position size. However, with PEG, it didn't quite look right, so I stopped adding to this position. As a result, we had a lot more room to repair this position and still remain under our max position size of 5%. So here you see the trade we did. Now remember, we're stepping up our game here. This trade was a little more difficult. It went against us, and it's a fairly stable stock, so option premiums aren't that high, and the strike prices are spaced almost 10% apart because they're $5 apart. Initially, we had sold two of the September 15th $60 put options. So we bought those two options back. Simultaneously, we sold the December 15th $55 put options. But notice how many we sold. We sold four of them. So we sold twice as many of the December 15th $55 put options than the September 15th $60 put options that we had bought back or that we closed out. So the technique here is leave yourself position sizing available. So if a position goes against you, you can consider increasing the number of contracts you have as you roll the position out and roll it down. This gives you another tool or trick that you can use to repair a short put option position that's gone against you. As a result, we're able to buy to close a put option that was in the money around $60 and roll it way down and way out of the money down to $55 per share. Now we've drastically improved our position and the likelihood that we'll eventually be able to win. Now before I share with you another real life position in which the underlying stock is down over 45% over the past several years, I want to share with you one more position that really went against us in a bad way. And I'm going to give you a bonus tip after this trade. Here you see a trade we did on July 5th. We sold to open the MKC August 18th, $85 cash care put options or paid $1.20 per share for that option. If you notice here on the bottom right, the weekly chart of MKC when we entered this trade, it was right here at this green candlestick. Notice the MKC had recently made a higher high and it appeared to have made a higher low and found support right at this red to a moving average on this weekly chart. Although there had been fairly high selling volume in MKC a week or so before that, that selling volume happened when it was at the high of the previous wave, so we expected it to be pretty decent volume. So overall, we liked where MKC was and appeared to be another potential profitable trade for us. Although MKC did go up a little over 8% over the next several weeks, after that it began its decline and has now been down over 11% from that previous high. As a result, the $85 cash care put option we had sold was in the money. So what can we do to fix this position? Before I share with you what we did to repair this position that gone against us in a pretty big way, let me share one more trade we did between when we entered it in July and today. Here you see that on August 18th, we bought to close the MKC August 18th $85 put options. We then sold to open the September 15th $85 put options. For that trade, we walked away with another $1.40 per share. Now I decided to roll that cash care put option out because as you see here on the charts, in the bottom left daily chart, MKC was right back at an area that should have served as support for it. It was right back at that red 200 moving average on this daily chart. And over on the weekly chart, it was just above the red 200 moving average. So because of that, I felt comfortable rolling this $85 cash care put option out to September. Well, you know what's happened. Since that time, MKC has dropped and it's down over 5% in just the matter of a couple weeks. I knew that our September cash care put option was in jeopardy being assigned to us, but in looking at my possibilities of what I could do to fix this trade, it didn't look like it was going to be an easy process of rolling the strike price down as we rolled it out, like we have the previous three tips that I share with you. So I decided that I was okay if MKC were assigned to us, so I just let the put option sit out there and wait to see what happened. I was looking for an opportunity for MKC to come back up in price, which let me roll the strike price down as I rolled it out, but it just didn't happen. As a result, and as you can see here of this past weekend, that $85 cash care put option was assigned. So we bought 200 shares of MKC at $85 per share. My plan was that if this happened, I was going to turn it into a covered call position. But since it had gone against us, I had another trick up my sleeve. 
Now remember on the trade we did in July, we collected about $1.55 per share for those put options. We then bought them back for 10 cents per share. We then sold some new put options for $1.65 per share. So before this put option was assigned to us, in the recent history, we had collected just over $3 per share in MKC. Then over the first weekend of September, the $85 put options were assigned to us, so we bought those 200 shares at $85 per share. That meant that our cost basis was $81.90 per share. So here you see the trade I did yesterday. After those shares were assigned, to us this past weekend. On the next trading day, I sold to open the MKC December $80 cover call options and we were paid $4.35 per share for those options. Now our cost basis is $77.35 per share. So even though we were assigned these shares at $85 per share, we were able to sell these December call options at a strike price $5 less than we were assigned and still line us up for a win if MKC is called away from us at that $80 per share. So the tip I want to share with you with MKC is that if a position has gone against you, you're having a hard time rolling that cash or put option strike price down as you roll it out, maybe consider let the position be assigned to you and turning it into a covered call position. And then you might consider selling a covered call below the strike price or below the price you had to buy the stock at. Now one reason why I felt comfortable doing that is because as you can see here in this bottom left chart, the daily chart, notice that this area just above the $8 strike price we sold served as support for it a couple weeks ago. Remember that support once broken through tends to turn into resistance. So after MKC had broke through that area that had previously served as support for it, I decided to go ahead and sell the $8 strike price that was right at that area. But even if it is called away from us, at $80 per share or $5 less than the stock was assigned to us, we're still going to walk over the profit in a position that's moved against us. Now, in addition to these techniques, I wanna give you a bonus tip here. In addition to the techniques that I just shared with you, on a position that's gone against us, if the underlying stock is still looking pretty weak, I will also consider doing bearish call credit spreads against the underlying stock. Now, I only do that if the stock is looking weak enough, so I don't think that short call option portion of that bearish call credit spread will be challenged. That's another way to collect cash against a position that's gone against you. Now, before I share the details with you of a position which the underlying stock is down over 45% for the past several years, but we're actually profitable in that position, I want to mention to you that if you want to become a better stock and option trader, check out my course entitled The Proven Option Trading System for Monthly Cash Flow. In this course, there are 16 brand new videos that will never be released to the public that will help you to become a better option trader. You'll also be able to see a three and a half hour live trading session I did, which I condensed it down to 39 minutes to make it easier on you to watch, to see the whole process I go through when I'm looking for new option trades each day. I think this course will really help you become a more profitable option trader, so please check it out. The link is down in the description below. Here you see the weekly chart of 3M. Now we started tracking in a spreadsheet that I'm about to share with you my trades in 3M going back to January of 2019. Since that time, as you can see here, 3M is down over 45%. Now there have been periods of time where 3M looked bullish and so we sold cash secure put options positions in them. And we also did cover calls against it. But there's also been times where 3M broke through support and those positions went against us. And the reason why I'm sharing this position with you because it's a nice example of how we've used all the techniques I just shared with you in 3M. And it shows you the power of using these tips or tricks that I just shared with you in a position that's gone against you. Notice our first trade was in January of 2019. And for a lot of that time, we've been trading cash secure put options and cover call options against 3M. Notice that as a result of selling options against 3M and using the techniques I just shared with you in this video, we have a profit of over $4,800 and that's in a stock that's down 45% over the past several years. Currently, we've sold the September and November $100 and $105 cash care put options and both of them are out of the money. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we buy stock and sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see a little used and a little understood option technique that we use to consistently put cash into our pockets and one that you can use to actually repair a position that's gone against you, check out the video at the link above entitled Ratio Spreads. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.